My mission is to find every milk bottle I haven't got. I will never complete it, and in all honesty, I never want to, because while I'm still looking, they're still out there, and I'm still meeting people and having a great time. Sadly, over the years, um, I have some compatriots who collected them, and um, they popped their clogs, and I've inherited their collection. So I'm a custodian of their bottles as well as my own. I have been trying over the years to get um, a National Milk Bottle Museum organised so that all our collections can go to that. But unfortunately, interest isn't keen. It's quite sad because I like to see um, milk bottles carry on because of the glass, but also I've got milk bottles from a dairy which may have started 1910, 1920, and um, I've got bottles right through to say the 1960s, 70s when they closed. When I get a milk bottle for the first time, you look at it and you think, first of all, I like its glass, I like the design on there. I wonder about the milkman who picked that design out of an art book, all the times he had that bottle in his hands and what he did with it. And every bottle, even when I end up with it and it's finished its life as far as he's concerned, it's something that's never going to be reproduced, it's never going to happen again. It's, it's almost like a one-off and it's there. A wonder to behold. One man, which is um, Cyril Bates in Southport, I pulled into his yard and he said, um, hey lad, he said, I'll be waiting for you. And I thought, this is good because I've never met him before. I'd never been there before. And he went out and he came back with three crates full of bottles, plus three spare bottles, which is a total of 63 bottles. Every time he'd had a bottle or a batch of bottles made, he'd saved one bottle of the design, third of a pint, half a pint, quarter pint, whatever, quart, because he knew someday somebody might want an example. And it was me, and I've got them there now. I've got the ones that failed, and we've got big dents in that come from the, the factory and should never have gone out. It's only the older generation now who would say that if you don't have milk in a milk bottle, um, it doesn't taste the same, because the people who have it in a carton don't know any different. But if you've had milk from a farm before, well, it's just been bottled, that milk is so sweet. But when you've had fresh milk in a carton, it might have been fresh milk once, but regardless of what it says on the carton, when was it fresh? Where's it been? How many times has it gone down the country before they um, took it out the tanker, pasteurized it and cartoned it? I don't like milk. I think it's baby food. And ever since they brought out uh, what I call blue milk, which is that milk with no fat in it. Have you ever had cornflakes with skimmed milk? It's awful. You've got to smile a lot. You've got to have fun. If I had a choice between 500 cartons and, um, and a dirty rotten milk bottle, I'd have the dirty rotten milk bottle.